Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about how to use the D x y now i get a lot of questions about the dollar index uh, and in today's video what i'm going to do is i'm going to explain what the dxy actually is and how you can use this to add some confluence or uh, additional information to the trades that you are taking that use or incorporate the us dollar okay so with that said let's get into the video okay so the dxy uh, you can look it up on trading view a lot of the uh, brokers out there offer the ability to look at this and some even offer the ability to trade dxy um, but the dxy is the us dollar currency index and what it does is it basically gives us a visual over on the overall strength of the us dollar now a lot of times when you look at currencies, right? You're looking at them in pairs. You're looking at things like USD, JPY, or pound, dollar, right? Uh, so what this does is allows you to look on one currency, uh, the dollar versus the pound or the dollar versus the yen, right? But what this currency uh, chart does, the DXY, it allows you to look at just the dollar in isolation. Uh, you might say, well, what is it priced against? Well, the DXY is basically a conglomerate of uh, the US dollar crossed with a bunch of other currencies out there. And you can look this up, you can see the distribution, but it is looking at things like the US dollar versus the Euro, of course the pound, the JPY, which of course these are the big ones, uh, and then also things like Aussie, the, uh, I believe it's NZD as well, you can look this up uh, in ZZ, I meant NZD, right? So it's basically just saying the dollar versus all of these things at once in one chart, right? So it gives you a little bit more of a, a larger scope as to what is going on with the US dollar against all of these major currencies. So what you can see, for example, is that during this time, when we had this really strong push to the upside, that's telling us that the dollar was strong against a lot of other currencies, right? So it's the dollar versus a basket of other currencies. During this time, the dollar was very dominant. And during this time, you can see that the dollar has been very sort of uh, not dominant or weak compared to a lot of the other currencies out there. So with that said, how do we actually use the DXY in our trading? Well, uh, I'll tell you how I like to use the dollar index. Well, first of all, the dollar index allows me to get a really good view of the dollar overall if I plan on trading it. So what I might do is, you know, on a lot of my live streams, if you watch my live streams, uh, I'm constantly looking at DXY as one of the first charts that I reference just to get an overall picture of what's going on with the dollar, right? So I might actually do technical analysis on the DXY itself and look for uh, you know scenarios in which I might want to be long or short from a technical analysis perspective, uh, and it allows me just to see the basically the strength of the dollar across many currencies in one view. Now, on top of that, although I don't actually trade at the DXY. I'm not actually gonna be placing trades on DXY. What I am going to do, however, is I am going to use the DXY to make judgment calls or to help me uh, when I may wanna go trade things like Euro USD. How would I do that? Well, what I might do is I might say, okay, well, I wanna trade Euro USD, but let me go check that dollar first. What does the dollar look like? Does the dollar look like something that I wanna short right now? Because if so, which right now, by this is a good example, this is why I made this video, um, I am short bias in the dollar, and I really like the retracement here to this 50% level. Now, this level I've drawn from the swing high to the swing low, it's given me these three FIB levels, right? And I also like that we have some pretty good resistance in this area. So what I mean by all this is I'll go look at the dollar index to get an idea of what the dollar looks like, and then I might go actually take a look at the Euro USD. I'll give you an example that I am currently in right now. So again, I made the decision, okay, I like the idea of being dollar bearish, uh, and then I went and took a trade on, here's pound against the US dollar. So I'm currently in a long position. So remember, back to DXY, a bearish bias here as price is coming up into this zone. So I'm looking for downside uh, in favor of this trend that we're seeing. And then I went and went over to pound dollar. I said, okay, well, I have a bearish bias on the dollar. Uh, so I am willing to buy the pound uh, and sell the dollar. So 
with that knowledge, that extra confirmation, I was able to pick up a long position. I drew my fibs uh, and I, I was able to get this long position here at support with the 50% retracement. Things look pretty good uh, on the long side and I caught, I was able to ca catch a pretty good trade to the upside there. So again, what I did is I said, okay, I like pound dollar. Let me go take a look at the dollar index just for added reference. I saw that the dollar index was looking very good at resistance and that added a level of confirmation to my trade, which allowed me to pick up that position and ultimately we did see a little bit of dollar weakness. Now I don't know if that's going to continue and you know we'll see a massive fall to the downside that would be great for my position but the point is uh, you know I'm just using this as a tool or as, as a reference point to go make that decision. Now one thing that we can take a look at the dollar and notice is that the dollar we pulled up on the daily chart, for example, you can get ideas of not just, you know, what's going on today, but you can look at the broader idea of the US dollar. What's the trend looking like? What are things looking like? For example, we can apply some moving averages, for example, and you can see, uh, let me actually change my template here. So we can apply some moving averages, for example, and see that on the daily chart, we look at the 200 day moving average, you can see that the dollar overall has been pretty uh, bullish in recent times. Uh, you can see, for example, what the trend is on the longer, longer scope of things. So for example, we could have used the dollar index to identify that the dollar was very, very weak during this portion of time, right? And that can be added to confluence. So if you wanted to go trade, you know, the dollar versus gold, for example, or the dollar against the yen, this could give you a idea of what the broader market is looking like for the dollar, right? And uh, it's by no means, you know, a magical tool to look at the DXY, but for me, it's added confirmation and it can be very, very insightful as to, you know, what I wanna do when placing trades. For example, maybe during this time, you had a very strong upward trend uh, and you may have been looking for longs based on the dollar index being very strong overall, right? During this time, you had lots of weakness. Maybe this was a time to look for more short side action on the dollar and you can use it again as an overall signal as to where you know the market may be headed next. And like I said, um, the, the dollar index is really great for not just looking at you know, individual currencies, but you may look at this thing with the scope of, of gold, for example, right? So if you like to trade gold, you might say, okay, well, what do I wanna do with gold? Am I long biased or am I short biased on gold? And you may reference the dollar index to get an idea. For example, you know, we're looking here at gold, uh, we're seeing prices pulling back, but again, are we bullish on the dollar or bearish? I mentioned that I was bearish, right? So what that might actually mean is that this pullback could be a buying opportunity for the uh, for the gold market, due to what I just showed you guys, you know, on the dollar index, I like that that bearish bias, right? So maybe a dip to the 38.2% retracement could be a worth uh, a worthwhile consideration uh, in your trading. Now, of course, you use it however you'd like. I'm not telling you, oh, you have to use it this way, or you know, the magical way to do it is this. It's just a generally helpful tool, in my opinion, to look at the index uh, of a currency like that to get an idea. Now, I want to add one more thing here. If you look at something like the JXY, you can actually see that the JXY, here's the Japanese yen currency index. So we can actually see the yen as well, just like the DXY. And here's another one, CXY. We can take a look at the Canadian dollar, right? So we can get an idea of multiple markets uh, or multiple currencies against a basket of other ones just by typing in uh, that sort of signal. You might have to do a little bit of research to find all of them. They're not all that uh, sort of style, CXY, JXY, DXY, uh, but you can find a lot of them on the internet. You just gotta do a Google search. So. Hope this helps. If it was helpful to you, do me a big favor and just hit that like button, subscribe button on the channel. It does really help. And uh, again, if you want more free trading content by subscribing to the channel, you'll get plenty of it. So thank you so much, guys. And we'll see you back next time.